What's up everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you're listening to Tejas. So guys, in previous videos, what we have seen is the basics and foundations of the Apple shortcuts and we have seen variables and data types. And today we are going to dedicate this full video for dictionaries and lists. It's going to be quite small video because I just wanted to explain you those two things only because these two things will come in handy in a lot of shortcuts. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, before starting this video, I would like to say that I'm really proud of our ISRO, which is the Space Research Organization of India. And we are the first country to land on the South Pole of Moon and fourth country to do a soft landing on Moon. So it's really a great achievement and the history being made. So shout out to all the ISRO scientists and all the scientists throughout the world for getting this great achievement. And let's get to it. Okay, guys, so in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to understand how to use lists, how to choose from lists, how to use dictionaries, and how to choose from dictionaries. So that's the basic thing that we are going to do. We can explore through some of the functions in the list and dictionaries, but majorly, I just wanted to explain you the basic logic of list and dictionaries. So let's get to it. So to get list, you just have to search list and you'll drag it in and you'll get the list. Now, by default, two of the values are already added in the list. Basically, list is nothing but the ordered uh, set of values that you can insert. Majorly, it will, considered as, it will be considered as string only initially. So if you have to insert any value in it, it will be taken as text. Say, for example, we'll add Python. Then we'll add Java here. Then we'll add C++. We'll add uh now if i'll if i'll have to choose something from the list you can see that there is a already suggested action here which is choose from the list now you can do the loops as well but i think the loops are uh you know the part of the next video where we are going to look at the scripting if else and all that thing so we'll not go into that as of now we'll understand how to choose from the list so just drag this choose from the list and you can see here that it will automatically take the nearest list that we need to use in this particular action. So if I click, click on play, you can see that it will give us a choice in a very beautiful UI manner from the top, which is Python, Java, C++, and Go. So if I'll select something, then we can perform some action here. Now, based on this chosen from the list, you can perform some action. Now, this is one thing. Next, what we want to learn is if we look for list, you can see that we have different uh, uh, different functions coming up, which we can use with the list or maybe, you know, which are nearest to the list. But what we want to do now is we want to go to the dictionary. So the dictionary search for dictionaries and you can find here we'll get a dictionary. So list is kind of a straightforward data type that is, uh, you know, you'll get an ordered a set of values in it whereas dictionaries is more uh, towards the relationship kind of data types so it is having a key and a value based on key we can find values based on values we can find keys and this comes in handy when you want to send a json data to an api or get a json data from the api so if we'll pull out dictionary will not have anything in it click on add item you can select what kind of value you want to put here so if I click on text, basically the key will be text itself, but the value which you want to assign for that key can vary between different data types. So say, for example, if I'll add here name and I'll add here tages. Next, what I'll do, I'll add number. Here, maybe I'll add uh, my cell phone number and I can add here uh, 897 something, something, something. And then say, for example, if I'll add boolean and here what i can add is is working 
and I can set it to true or false. Okay, so if I'll click on again, so you can set, now here there is another amazing thing about dictionary is that you can set an array that is inserted in the dictionary. So say, for example, what kind of languages I know. Then, of course, I'm talking about programming languages. Here, you can set another uh, set of arrays here. So item one, I can add Python. Again, one here I can add. So Java. Again, one I can add maybe C sharp. Again, I can add here. See, so now here we are having uh, a set of arrays. Now, if I want to access something from dictionary, again, I can set dictionary. And then we have different functions which we can set. So get dictionary from input, get dictionary value. We have set dictionary value. We have dictionary in all. So if I'll click on the info, now one thing about, uh, sorry for this. Okay. So one thing about the actions that I like a lot, and I think I have explained this previously as well. So if you'll click on I, you can see here that get the value for the specified key in the dictionary passed into the action. So in result, we can get many more things. Now, if I'm adding this here, you can see get value for whatever key we want to find from the dictionary. So say, for example, get name from the dictionary. And if I click on play, that is run the shortcut, you can see that I'll get my name. If I'll put here as cell, and if we click on run, it'll show me the cell. Similarly, if I let's try with languages, languages. So if I click on run, it'll show us all the languages that we are having in the array. Now, this is really an amazing thing that what we can do with dictionary. Taking uh, some reference from the previous video of locations and working with map. I am going to show you one more demo, which is how we can use locations, list and dictionaries, how they both differentiate from each other and how we can open them in, them in maps. So location, if I'll get, get here. So let's get two locations from here. There's one more. Now I'll search for one of the locations. So let's say if we are searching for uh mumbai and one will be say goa so we'll click on done now if i'll go in list and if we'll get the list here so not here exactly we'll get it at the bottom we'll remove both the values that are already inserted by default and <clears throat> We'll add new item and in the text, we can select a variable and we can select the first location. And that's it. And in the second one, again, we'll go and we'll search for the select variable. And just for precautions, it's always better to use magic variables rather than just, you know, adding that. Now in maps, if we'll go in open in maps, we'll click here. And then you can see that it will take the list by default. Now let's play it out. And you can see that in the list, the problem was that it is by default taking the first variable rather than asking us that, okay, where you would like to travel. So that is one thing that is not good with the lists. But now if you add here, like choose from list and you can add that. So choose, uh, maybe I'll select list. So I need to choose from list and then if you will run it again, now you can see that oh, we have Mumbai here and we have Goa as well. So if I select Goa now, it should select Goa. So that's that's a bit, uh, you know, adding one more action in between and things will get a bit more easier. Now, this was it with the list. Now, if you want to go with the dictionaries, so let's get dictionaries here. And now I'll add an item here that is text. So we'll add say Mumbai, Mumbai, and in text, we'll select a variable location, and then again, we'll go in text, and we'll select Goa, and in text, we'll add select one more variable, and that's it. Now we'll go back to maps, open in maps, 
and here we will select dictionary now if we play it should again go with the same thing but the problem is that here now it is not able to find anything because this is taking it as a form of json you can see here that it is checking taking it in form of json but if you'll click on dictionary here in the names you can see that what type we are we can see here we can add in this particular uh, placeholder so you, you can add dictionary you can add keys you can add values you can add file size and many more extensions you can add so the great thing about this particular process is that now if i'll select keys here and then if i'll click on play probably it should take only keys and based on that the value that is to that key will be selected here so if i'll go back and i'll say select here values and then if i'll click on run now what it'll do is based on values it will select a location that is from mumbai so here again you will have to do the same thing that is select from dictionary and then you can go ahead and select a location and that location you can find open in the maps so what i wanted to show was here that if you have anything that is having more number of values and you want to create a process where you have to select something or you get a json format data or you want to send the json format data at that point you can use dictionaries so the basic use of dictionaries i think pretty similar throughout all the programming languages yep so that's that's it basically if uh, uh, you need to uh, you know explore more about dictionaries and lists you can just type in dictionaries here and you can find out what all things we can do with the dictionary so this is this is a part of scripting again so in scripting again we are going to look into dictionaries function working with dictionaries and list using the loops and if else statements so that's why i kept it pretty small video and yep that's it guys so if you like the video make sure you share the video if you have any comments or any kind of uh, queries make sure you add them in the comment section share the video make your own shortcuts share them as well if we get more good shortcuts uh, from the viewers and surely showcase them in my video in coming up videos so make sure you add those shortcuts and you can uh, get in my instagram handle i'll share it in the description and you can share me your shortcut videos and recordings as well so that i can showcase showcase them in the upcoming videos that's it guys keep innovating and take care thank you